such thing as a limousine liberal. Did you know that? There's no such thing as a limousine liberal. Or maybe there is. Now, I was, uh, I was reminded of this topic earlier when I on Central Parkway this morning. I saw a uh, sign for limo parking or limo pickup or something like that. And it said, it didn't just say limo, it said limousine. Now, how's that for wasting space on the sign? And it was weird because it was on Central Parkway. A working class street. Yeah, so how could there be limousines in Central Parkway? Maybe it's because they don't know reality. They think that the poor areas are actually rich areas because they're so poor that they don't support the far right. So they get this idea in their mind that they must be limousine liberals. But there's no such thing. There's no, no such thing at all. Now, see, now today right here in Cincinnati, I've got an audience here. You see, there's people down, down that way. There's people working hard and watching me give this uh, this uh, speech. And they're just and they just sort of accept that when I say there's no such thing as liberals and liberals. And they just take my word for it. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to, to look at the facts. Now, the idea of liberal is antithetical to people writing in limousines. Yeah, because conservatism represents the After all, he 
does live in a tarantula. Now, part of the problem though, a lot of people on the internet, they think how little they are. Really, they're not. But they attack me for being a hero like this. Now, because I, I go around, I support things like uh, raising the minimum wage and that type of stuff. So, of course, I get attacked by the elites. They think I'm conservative because I support liberal stances like that. They think I'm too conservative. <laughs> really, it's what they're doing is a form of elitism. It's elitism because it makes them think that their stances are more valid than mine are, just because they have more money. See? Now, I have to say this stuff very quietly because there's people watching. So I don't, and I don't want to make a fool of myself. Am I even recording? See, I don't want to make a fool of myself because I'm out in, in public. And ah, out came a bug. But anyway. Why am I spending 10 minutes explaining something that should take two, 30 seconds to explain? That's a big question we should be asking. But the more important point, the more serious matter, is that the elitists, the so-called people who think they're liberal, actually aren't. They, they, they claim to be. And they attack me. They, they, they attack me for for being too too liberal on economic issues because that that to them that invalidates everything else I have to say, which means they're really elites. Which means they're not liberal at all. They're conservative. So that shows you whose hat is brighter right there. And that's, that's been more of a phenomenon on the internet than anywhere else. See, the internet is where that happens. That's been going on for years. Like, uh, uh, like on the news group, or you go on to Facebook now, and you go on these right-wing groups on Facebook, and people say, well, I'm a real liberal, but I agree with this group because you blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Now, they kind of discredit their own... Um, their own uh, argument just by uh, just by agreeing with uh, with the group, and that was uh, they they end up making fools of themselves. So now, but now I call them out on it. I call them out. This is like it was ten years ago when I just let them get away with it. I call them out, I tell them off. And so now you know the story of, of why there's no such thing as a limousine liberal.